I'm Jacob from Make Science Fun. This is my assistant Sam. Hi Sam, how are you? Good. Good. Way. <laughs> right, Sam, I've got a question for you, mate. All right. What do these things have in common? An aluminium can, an aluminium pan, an aluminium paddy pan, an aluminium angle, an aluminium pipe, some aluminium foil, and an aluminium tin, and an aluminium vent. What do they have in common? What's the same about them all? Aluminium. Now, that's what we call it in Australia. In the United States, do you know what they call aluminium? Aluminium. Sam, why do you think we should recycle our cans? Why shouldn't we throw these cans just into the bin? <laughs> huh? Is it because it's scarce? Is it because there's not very much of it in the Earth's crust? That is definitely not the reason. Did you know that aluminium is the third most abundant material in the Earth's crust? Hey? Huh? Did you know that? Do you know what the first most abundant material is? Oxygen. And then, silicon. Ooh, silicon, have a look at that. Check this silicon out. Look at that. Silicon is not a metal or a non-metal. It's in between. That's right, donk, donk, donk. It's called a semi-metal. Aluminium that. actually makes up 7% of the Earth's crust. Now we don't just go dig a hole and find a piece of aluminium, okay? It's not like gold. Gold you can go and dig and you can find a piece of gold. No, to get aluminium, you need to dig up this red stuff. Look at that, Sammy. It looks like clay. It's a lot like clay. It's actually called bauxite. And I have a feel. You want to have a feel of that? Do you want to get some of those out and put them on your hand? What's this called, Sammy? Bauxite. 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 Australia is the world's biggest exporter of bauxite. So we don't recycle the aluminium cans because of a lack of bauxite. The reason that we need to recycle aluminium is it takes a lot of energy to turn this into this. In fact, aluminium could also be called solid energy. That's how much energy is contained in aluminium. Now, rather than me trying to explain it with words, I'm gonna show you with a demonstration. Magnesium is almost identical to aluminium, but it will burn. So I'm going to use magnesium as an example, and this sharpener is made from magnesium. Starting to melt. Okay. See it's starting to ignite. Look at that. Look at that. It's now starting to burn. It's going from the elemental magnesium. Look at the energy coming out. Look at the heat emitted. Aluminium took so much effort to produce at the beginning when it was first discovered that an aluminium tea set, the teapots and the cups, was worth more than a gold teapot set. Aluminium was more expensive than gold, even though it's the third most abundant substance in the crust of the earth. See the aluminium burning there? Oh, the hot. All that energy that was used to change bauxite into aluminium is now being put out. Whoa, whoa, careful Sammy. Uh, can I burn that? Yeah, that's okay. Thanks for joining us today on Make Science Fun. We hope you've enjoyed the episode. Please send us your comments and please subscribe. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. For a weekly video, please click the Make Science Fun logo below and I'll be seeing you soon.